out the article yourself, but there's a meme out there that is actually bullshit, and it's that broccoli has more protein than steak. <laughs> it's simply not true, first of all, but then even if you look at... <laughs> Sorry, we talked is, about uh, it before, and I still, when you say it out loud... This is, <laughs> this is vegetarians and vegans trying to spread their stupidity Ugh. like a virus to other people. Vegetarianism and veganism is a religion. There are people, it works, it's so much like religion. Let's look at some of the parallels, okay? Mm. There, first of all, they're married to an idea yeah. And a lot of it is guilt based. They, yeah. right, they feel guilty. A lot of it and is, they're yeah. trying to atone for their sins. They feel they look at cute animals. Then they All try animals to, are cute. I would I would vegan. I would certainly though separate vegetarians and vegans in this particular case. Because oh, like, yeah. vegetarians can go like at least eggs, things like that. Yeah. Veganism is you moralistic can... as f because they're hungry. They probably just yeah. get grumpy. I was raised vegetarian and often on vegan a lot of my um a lot of my childhood. Well, the, the, the point is there's an incredible bias. There's a, an incredible guilt attached to this. A lot of this is, oh, I don't want to eat the cute animals. I understand that. Uh, so, we are omnivores. Are That's the most how we evolved to be. It's what, the most healthy diet we can be on. It's twisting all this information out there to, to favor what you want to believe. And one this example is broccoli has more protein than steak, which is simply not true. They're using like really, really old data that wasn't accurate to support this. And actually, modern data, if you look at it, broccoli, they, they do it calorie for calorie, by the way. Broccoli is almost all bulk and water. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then there's... So, if you, so you have to, you know, to compare them, like 100 calories of broccoli versus 100 calories of steak is a lot of broccoli, more than anyone ever eats in a sitting. Right? Versus you can eat four ounces of steak and not feel bloated and get a tremendous amount of nutritional value out of that versus eating like nine and a quarter cups of broccoli, which is the equivalent amount of calories, roughly. I, Cha um, I, it's something like that Cha in the article. Changing the subject slightly, have you ever had horse meat? Yes. Uh, horse meat is delicious. It's sweet. It totally actually, it actually still contains glycogen, you know, the sugar in there. It's uh -huh. like the only animal you can eat that still has the oh, I didn't glycogen know that. in there. Which makes it that sweet, delicious taste. Really? It I've tastes like sugary venison. I'm, I I've only, try it now. Yeah, I've only yeah. had it as a burger in Slovenia, and so it was ground. I'm trying to be healthy, I made a point to eat a bowl of broccoli every day for mm. about a week. My gas... Why don't you and just bloating. I was just taking my medicine. I was just bore I was just steaming it, putting some like salt on it, and just shoveling it down. I love vegetables. And I was the smog monster from Godzilla. No, yeah. I, I would fly over people and release my gas, and they were dissolved into skeletons. Yeah. It was disastrous. Like I just and that's just a bowl a day. They talk about broccoli. Oh, if you eat the same amount of calories of broccoli as four ounces of steak, you'll get more protein. It isn't. It's less protein actually, but. Even if we just buy that for a moment, you'd be eating like nine cups of broccoli, which would be a gyne gynecological, no, not gynecological, <laughs> gastrological, gastrointestinal. No, it would be a gastrointestinal disaster. It's a gynecological, okay? it actually hurts your vagina. Yeah. In fact, no, you actually become a vagina if you become a vegan. <laughs> you get vagina sores all over your entire body. Wait, are you calling vegans pussies? Because I'm on board, if that's what you're yeah, yeah, that's I'm okay with that. that. Really, really angry ones, though. Look, I'm team people, right? So I put yeah. people above I'm a speciesist. Chickens. Yeah, I'm totally I'm a speciesist. speciesist. I, I believe not. in human like beings lamb. over animals. So if I believe that you are repeatedly killing humans, I would treat you like to be like, yeah. I don't want to hang out with you, right? Yeah. So if they put the equivalent of, well, then it kind of makes sense that they're really mad. Yeah. But they're not. Here's the thing, though. The evolution, every single animal species in the world except for humans is out for number one. They're I'm out for themselves. That, I'm not saying they're They're out rational. to survive and perpetuate their genes. And I'm a speciesist because that's Darwinism. That's evolution. I'm looking out for number one, human beings, and me in particular. I, I like I have fantasies. Like I have dreams at night where I'm chasing down, like I'm a predator, and I'm chasing down animals, and I grab it, and I grab my teeth, and I shake it, and I just shake it in my teeth. And I'm like, you have dreams? And I taste the blood, and I get in a boner, <laughs> and I wake up with a boner, and I jack off. Really? No. That's, I'm so jealous. I wish I had dreams like that. That would be... I have dreams where I'm playing D&D &D and stuff. Yeah, I mean, if you need... Don't do it. It's not good for you. Nine oh. and a half cups of broccoli <laughs> to four ounces of steak. How much veal? I mean, I bet you only need two ounces of veal for those nine and a half cups of broccoli. I love veal.